All right, good people. In this uh, video, we're going to be going over the menu engineering worksheet. We'll also go over this in class, but this is the major deliverable from this uh, this chapter. Um, again, we have each item on our menu. So, game meat, chili, steak with rice and beans, Cajun seafood ravioli, uh, grilled tofu and eggplant etouffee. If I hope I said that right, um, South Carolina pulled pork and KC uh, style barbecue chicken. We have the number or the amount of each item that we sold. Now the first step in completing our worksheet is we want to total that up so we can calculate our menu mix percentages. Okay, So uh, we sold 170 items total. Now we want to calculate each item's menu mix percentage, so the percentage of the total entrees sold that, we're, that we can account for each item. Or um, the percentage of uh, total items sold that were our game meat chili. So if we take our number of game meat chilies sold and divide it by the total, 11.2% of all menu items sold were our game meat chilies. Okay, we just want to do that for every single item all the way down. So our steak with rice and beans had a 24.1% menu mix percentage, or sales mix percentage, it's the same thing. Our Cajun seafood ravioli had a 28.8% menu mix percentage. Our grilled uh, tofu and eggplant etouffee had a 2.9% sales mix percentage. Not very high compared to others. And just finishing up here. There we go. So uh, even before calculating your average popularity, you can still kind of you can already start to see which items are more popular than others. For instance, we know that our grilled plant, uh, sorry, grilled tofu and eggplant etouffee is our least popular, and our Cajun seafood ravioli is um, our most popular. Okay. So at this point, we should be calculating our uh, popularity cutoff or our average. If we take our average popularity, which is 1, divided by the amount of menu items we have. So in this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6. 1 divided by 6 is 16.667%. Uh, 16, 16 now we take that to calculate our popularity cutoff anyway. We take the average and we multiply it by 0 0.7. So we get an a popularity cutoff of 12%. Oops. Okay, so that's what we use to compare each item to our uh, average in order to understand whether it is either popular or not popular. Okay. So here we'll calculate the contribution margin per unit for each item, and from CVP we know it's the sales price minus our food cost. Okay. So that's all we're doing here sales price minus our food cost to give us our contribution margin for each item. I think I actually showed everyone how to do this last class, but uh, this is a bit of a different way than uh, we did in class. So just calculating the total contribution for each item. There we go. Again, sales price minus your food cost equals your contribution margin per unit. And there we go. And the next column is for our total contribution margin. So that's the total amount of contribution that each um, menu item produced. So we sold 19 game meat chilies, and it had a contribution of $20.62. If we multiply the two, we get its total contribution. So from selling 19 game meat chilies, which had a contribution margin of $20.62, we get a total contribution for that item of $391.78. So we're just doing that for each item. We're taking the contribution margin per unit and multiplying it by how many we sold. Just like this, all the way down for each item. Contribution multiplied by the amount sold. There we go. And there we go. So now that we've done that, we can actually begin to calculate our average contribution. If we add up 
all of the contributions or all of the contribution from each item we get a total overall contribution of three thousand four hundred and twelve dollars and ninety six cents now if we take that and divide it by the amount of items we sold which is 170 170 we get an average contribution of twenty dollars and eight cents so now we have an average popularity we have an average contribution we can now determine whether each item is either high or low with respect to those things so we'll start with uh, popularity our game meat chili had a sales mix percentage of 11.2 percent and that is below our popularity cutoff of 12 percent so we would rank this as a low popularity item next our steak with rice and beans had a 24.1 menu mix percentage which is higher than our popularity cutoff of 12 percent so we rank that as high uh, our Cajun seafood ravioli had a menu mix percentage of 28.8 percent which is much higher than the popularity cutoff of 12 percent so again we rank this as a high and now for our grilled eggplant and tofu etouffee our oops, our sales mix for it was 2.9 percent which is way below our popularity cutoff so we rank this or classify this as a low popularity item our South Carolina pulled pork platter had a sales mix percentage of 17.6 percent which again is higher than the popularity cutoff so this would be a high popularity item lastly our KC style barbecue chicken had a menu mix percentage of 15.3 percent which is a little bit higher than our popularity cutoff so we would rank this as high again we're just comparing to the average to determine whether it's high or low next we use uh, we're going to determine whether each item is categorized as high or low in terms of profitability we do that by comparing each items uh, contribution margin per unit to the average contribution so let's do it our game meat chili had a contribution margin of twenty dollars and sixty two cents which is higher than the average so this would be categorized as a high profitability item our steak with rice and beans had a contribution margin of twenty dollars and twenty two cents uh, which is higher than the average so we would rank this as high as well our what is it Cajun seafood ravioli had a contribution margin of twenty two dollars and sixty six cents which is higher than the average so we rank this as high uh, where are we here egg sorry grilled tofu and eggplant etouffee had a contribution margin of sixteen dollars and two cents so we would rank this as low as it is below the average okay. uh, our South Carolina pulled pork platter has a contribution margin of seventeen dollars and thirty four cents which is lower than the average contribution so we would rank this as low as well lastly our Casey style barbecue chicken had a eighteen dollar and fifty two cent contribution margin which is higher than the average sorry lower than the average well so we'd rank this as a low profitability item okay. so now we can begin to classify each menu item in terms of whether it is a star puzzle plow horse or um, or a dog so let's start with our game meat chili had a low popularity but a high profitability so this would be considered sorry uh, this would be considered a uh, puzzle we uh, make a lot of money off of them uh, but they're not very popular the next our steak with rice and beans would be considered a star because it has a high popularity and a high uh, profitability our Cajun seafood ravioli would also be a star because it has a high popularity and a high profitability our grilled tofu and eggplant etouffee is low in terms of both pro uh, profitability and popularity so we rank this as a or should categorize this as a dog uh, our South Carolina pulled pork platter is very popular but is low in terms of profitability this 
is going to be a plow horse. And our KC style chicken is the exact same. Very popular, low contribution. We rank this as a plow horse. Okay. So that's how you complete the menu engineering worksheet, but that's not all that we're going to be expected to do. We have to know exactly what to do with inf this information. I mean, it's great that you've, um, in the industry, you've gone and you've taken the time to com uh, complete this analysis, but if you do nothing with it or nothing with the information, you've pretty much just wasted your time, and in class, we'll show you exactly how to do that.